Hi, fam. Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And look who's with us, guys. Hello. It's Fifi once again. We're back with another reaction. It's movie time. What's playing here, Fifi? We are watching A Tale of Two Sisters. Yeah, Korean film. Mm -hmm. Heard nothing but good things from you. Um, Dan, have you seen this? I have not, but it does come recommended by our fam, so... Yes. Cheers to you, fam. Enjoy. It's so haunting, you know, like it sets you up already. Mm -hmm. Very somber feeling, kind mm -hmm. of. What do you think you are? Okay. Amnesia, perhaps? Yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's possible. 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 There's really nothing there either. She's certainly not very talkative, though, is she? Mm -hmm. This is like the piano song that's really popular. And for the movie, or just like in Korea or something? Mm, you see it a lot online. Almost like it has a little Spanish guitar to it. Yeah, I have this on my MP3 player for work. Oh, this is on. This is what part of what you listen to there. Mm -hmm. That's fun. Yeah, I like to listen to like cinematic like scores from like different movies and stuff. He starts eating. Are those edible? I don't know. <laughs> nope. <It's> not... <laughs> I wonder what motivated her to do that. Oh, no. Tiana. She's still, still eating. eating. <laughs> Knock it off, you crazy person. Let's go inside. <laughs> nice spot here in the country. Yeah. Yeah. Very interesting build up to all of this. Mm hmm. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so good! Hey, what's this? What's this? What's this? Did you go to the park? Did you go to the park? Then you'll have to go to the park. You're so welcome. That was kind of unsettling, the way she was walking <laughs> in from the hallway. You're so healthy. She's very overbearing, isn't she? A very aggressive mothering. Are they split up? Are they in different rooms? I think they're in different rooms. She had two copies of the same thing. So bad. Mm -hmm. That ought to eliminate the choices. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she doesn't look pleased. That <laughs> where's all her clothes? Where's all the variety? 지금 상태는 그렇게 좋은 것 같지 않고는 내려온다고 해결될 수 있는 문제가 아니야. 괜찮을 거야. 내가 알아서 할게. Who are you talking to? 이번 주말에 성규랑 성규철 불러서 저녁 같이 먹기로 했어요. 아, 잘 먹었다. 정리할 게 있어. 먼저 일어날게. Well, so much for small talk. <laughs> You just drop her some antipsychotics. <laughs> I was gonna say, what are you giving the medication? Right in front of the girls? I mean, <laughs> I'm still hungry. <laughs> <laughs> is he like still in his clothes? Is yeah, he, he is. is. <laughs> I hope it's not his pajamas. Oh, he sleeps in his own bed. Everybody in the show seems traumatized from something. Mm. That'd be me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, creepy. So it's like that. There was a strange noises there. There was a whole hand <laughs> on the door. And the sheets that I pulled over my head were just pulled off of my mm -hmm. head. There's so many scenes with like no sound at all. Yeah. Just 
just a bloody fish. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> Oh my god, she's creepy. <laughs> Why are you just hanging around the living room watching a staticky TV? That's the truth. Hmm. <laughs> Unsettling nightmares. What? What is going on? <laughs> Jesus! What the hell? Oh my! Shish, maybe you need those pills. I don't think I'd be able to go back to sleep for like two whole days after that. <laughs> mm. That's what's funny about it. Very slow burn, isn't it? Yeah. Sounds like me. Yeah, I can't whistle either. Now the birds are getting into it. Oh. Wow. Well, you've done something to cause strife. Mm -hmm. There's definitely no love lost between these two, is there? Yeah. That looks like a nice trail to walk down. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't have gone in there. I think some of her old things. Who did she see there? She saw the stepmom in like all of the photos. She's just there. Mm -hmm. As long as you don't go raising the dead. Mm. <laughs> really work out the Not way. Oh, jeesh. <laughs> now she's afraid of everybody. Where do you go? <laughs> Damn, that is a lot of things going on. Yeah, she is afraid of everything. Mm -hmm. Definitely. There's like no love there. He really hates her father, though. No, he keeps trying, but he's failing here. <laughs> no one looks happy to be at this dinner. I'm sorry, I don't know what to say here. She's nuts. After all that? <laughs> oh no. 
An oh, allergic good. reaction? Oh my god. Okay, that was not helpful. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> she's just standing over there. Oh, she's terrified too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, she is now. <laughs> the delayed reaction. <laughs> the kids are just like, what is happening downstairs? Uh, Y'all drive safe? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> just going home like nothing happened? Well, clearly they didn't want to be there in the first place. What? Oh, Jesus. What? I didn't even notice that. What caused your reaction? The, the peanut? <laughs> she just cooked everything in peanut oil and everything? Oh, Lord. Probably. Oh, oh crap. Actually, someone under the sink. Mm -hmm. So quiet. <laughs> Just a little breeze, you know. Oh God! Where did that come from? <laughs> I'm like so on edge here. <laughs> Why'd you have to get so close to look under? I'd be like 20 feet away right? yeah. to look under. <laughs> Somebody's been there. <laughs> ah! <laughs> so maybe they are antipsychotics. psychotics <laughs> <laughs> There's definitely something going around this house. I don't know what it is, though. Oh, no. My stepmother's not going to be happy. One of the sisters did talk about killing him. Mm -hmm. oh. I think she saw, too. Pull around the pictures. Mm -hmm. Wow. Something psychotic about that. Oh, oh she killed me. What? <laughs> Nobody hears this going on. For as old as this house is, there's a lot of soundproofing in all of these rooms. Yeah, but not even her sister can hear this? <laughs> Way over the top. <laughs> Damn. It's totally messed up. A weird time to play this song right now. <laughs> Are we sure it was her that did it? That's messed up. It's like prison treatment. Everything here escalated in like less than two days. Right? Is that how long it's been? That's what it feels Pretty like. Much, they were, yeah. yeah. you from hearing her you think it was just because it's an old house no god when I mean, the mother was in there yelling you must have been really passed out well i guess he's been outside <laughs> this entire time dude it's been 20 minutes and you only need to dig a six inch hole it's like not <laughs> he hasn't been outside this whole time <laughs> you guys are going to Well, who the hell is that then? Right. All 
right. I'm admittedly a little lost here. Yeah, I've been watching a ghost this whole time. But everybody's been speaking to her, right? Right. Well, have they actually? I don't know. Well, wait, the, the stepmother's been interacting with her. Yeah. What? What the hell is that? <laughs> Okay. Is this one of those stories where what you think you're seeing, you're not really seeing kind of things? Sort of, yeah. Okay. It was all a dream. Let's say she does have waking dreams. Right. Shona! Shona! Oh. That's extreme measures. Yeah. Shona! Wait a minute. You mean that was real too? <laughs> she didn't notice a trail of blood as she was running across it. She notices it now. <laughs> just left that on the stove? I say somebody's just making tea in there. <laughs> Were the pills actually hers at the beginning? They're like a multiple personality issue here. I guess the word for that is schizophrenia. Yeah. Oh. Oh God. <laughs> This is a death trap. <laughs> Good question. Yes, I'd like to know. You know, bash your head in with his statue. It does remind you of Parasite a little bit, doesn't it? When he, you know, the, when he, when the oh, guy. Yeah. He just picked it up and just dropped it on the guy's head. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Shmuel. I think I'm right, but I will wholeheartedly admit it if I'm wrong. <laughs> What I thought I saw. There were a bunch of dolls in that room, right? Mm -hmm. So she is crazy. Yeah. A bag of dolls? Yep. Some heavy dolls, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Just you and your dad in that house the whole time. That's why we were sleeping in a separate bed. It was weird. Okay. <laughs> Damn, that's actually sad. How mentally exhausting that must be to like have three or four people in your head and they're all competing for supremacy or mm -hmm. dominance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, are you actually a real person? Say, where's she been this whole time? Yeah. <laughs> Is 
Was that just the younger version of the daughters that we saw there? Mm-hmm. Okay. Any way too? Let's not forget, that girl did see something under the sink earlier. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Oh. Um, why is there blood in the floorboard? That's some Hellraiser shit there. <laughs> Oh. Maybe the house really is haunted. <laughs> this is a little freaky. Everything's <laughs> coming out of there. What happened to her? She, um... <laughs> we always Dang come Lord. back to this wardrobe. Find <laughs> yourself. Finally. People can hear <laughs> things that are yeah, happening everybody in heard the that. house. Oh, she's trapped. Yeah, she's not gonna help her. Okay, but nobody else is gonna go investigate. She's like the only one who went to go investigate. Everybody else was like, whatever. Wicked stepmom here, huh? Mm -hmm. girl is still yeah. under that thing. Mm. can't believe this is still unraveling like this. It's crazy. Is she just going to suffocate under there? You evil bitch. Just let that girl die. What are you gain out of that? I do feel like I hear the song a lot. Yeah, you hear the... Yeah. Forgot how, how many times they play it, you know? So that's it. Yep. We got some things to talk about. Yes, many. Yeah, this movie, like, stressed me out. <laughs> <laughs> Beefy, was I right or wrong? <laughs> so the, the theory is basically that she is both mentally ill, the, the daughter, and also there is a ghost in the house so the two things are happening simultaneously and but the major thing is that the sis the other sister she was never there to begin with and this whole movie is the sister dealing with the guilt of you know walking away when her sister and her mother were in need you know so she's dealing with that sort of thing and also just you know the the rage that she feels against her stepmother for what she had done. Well, here's a question then, because mm -hmm. we saw a mom in there and we saw the pills roll out when mm -hmm. inside the wardrobe there. Do you think the stepmother did that to her? Because we saw her push Su Yun into the into the wardrobe mm -hmm. and lock her in there. Do you think it's possible she did that to the stepmother as well and made and made her suffocate in there? So or hang. So all the scenes with the stepmother prior to her stepping in at the end of the movie with the suit on, she hadn't been there. So the daughter was both being the sister and the stepmother. At no, the I know that. Time. I know that, but but like, but the, the here at the end is what I mean. Oh, at so. the end. Oh, that that's what I'm saying about there also being like ghosts in the house. Like the ghost, the ghost of the mother finally got her revenge. Right. right. I, I think, think I figured that was the ghost. I think of the, the mother. question is though, mm -hmm. you know, do you think the stepmother killed the real mother? Yes. Oh, and that, I'm not sure. I'm not he's sure. He's holding that. her responsible for that, and that's why mm -hmm. she hates her so much. Or do you think it's just? She just hates her because she came into the lives and she didn't want it in the first place. Because there at the end, the step you said the stepmother got her revenge. Or the mother, the mother got, got her got revenge. Her, yeah. Which makes me think that the stepmother did that to her. Uh, I'm sure even if the stepmother didn't kill her, her, the stepmother still came into their lives and inserted herself and married her husband. So, 
I feel like, you know, she probably felt, you know, she was, I think she was like terminally ill or something like that. And she probably felt, you know, that same sort of rage that this like strange woman is coming in and trying to take my place, you know? Right, because clearly, clearly he was having an affair. Yeah. So that explains why they're so, I guess, hateful of their father. Mm -hmm. Well, I thought he was having an affair at the beginning, but oh, yeah. okay. He had oh. just been calling the stepmother who was like elsewhere. Right. Throughout okay. the movie. Yeah. See, that I didn't figure out. Mm -hmm. I, okay. Yeah, he had been telling her like, no, don't come. Like, my daughter's literally acting like you right now. So... Okay, wow. so that, is, yeah. that explains a lot then, because that's the thing I was trying to figure out, is you know, who's he communicating with, you know, what are, what's the whole process here? Yeah. I kind of figured once we got to the end and we saw that she was crazy, I think the only way you could explain some things is there had to be something else going on within the house. Mm -hmm. So I think the theory that you mentioned, I think, is what makes the most sense going into this. It was just hard to tell for sure, you know, because the way that they're portraying it, it's mm -hmm. like, okay, is Sumi crazy? Or is the actual stepmother there and she's actually going crazy and mm -hmm. we're misinterpreting everyone's reaction to her? Right. Mm -hmm. Because it was really hard to draw a line between uh, what was in your head and what was reality. There. Right. Right to the bitter end almost. Mm -hmm. So whatever happened to the stepmother there at the end, that was actually happening, in, happening somewhat in reality. Yeah. So. That part was real. Like the, the stepmother did come, come back to the house and she experienced that herself. And also, you guys mentioned when the uncle and his wife came over and the wife started having like a whole seizure and stuff. Yeah. And she said she saw someone under the sink, that you know, was that was mother. perceived by the wife. So that was real. That was a real thing. That was not like something that the, you know, the daughter like came up with in her head. So that also goes towards there actually being like ghosts in the house. Mm -hmm. What happened to her? What made her, what caused that to happen to her when she like started convulsing on the ground? Um, I'm not too sure. I'm sure there's like an explanation online somewhere. Bam, help us out. Yeah. What happened to her? Some one of you knows it. <laughs> I'm sure it was an allergy because it, like they pointed out, he was picking up like peanuts off the floor there. Mm -hmm. We also saw seafood, I think, on the plate, so it could have been a number of things. Yeah. Well, geez, she can't eat anything. <laughs> <laughs> it That's good? nuts. Just imagine being at that dinner and it's like you're seeing the stepmother, but it's been the daughter the whole time. Right. At that dinner, acting like her and like yeah, that's why how everybody un was like unsettling and uncomfortable that yeah. must have been. Yeah. yeah, that's why the uncle and the wife and the dad were all just like awkwardly sitting at the table, uncomfortable as heck, because she's she's got the stepmother's clothes on, she's acting like the stepmother. So that's brilliant writing. Yeah, brilliant story writing. Mm -hmm. Honestly, for a little bit there, I started to think maybe the father was the one who's insane too, and he was just imagining his whole family around him. He's just, I feel like, emotionally constipated. Like... <laughs> That's a way to put it. <laughs> wow. Just backed up. <laughs> I suppose he, I don't know. That that man, he... He's not, he's certainly, uh, he's certainly holding it all in, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. But I mean, because that's a lot of baggage even for him, because he's had, he's experienced loss himself. No matter his imperfections, he's still experienced loss, mm -hmm. so... His first wife is dead. His, daughter his daughters is dead. dead. Yeah. His other daughter's gone crazy. Yeah, I mean, this is that's a lot. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah, no matter a lot. No matter what your circumstances are, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. So. So my question is, what were the pills doing for her? Because it seemed like she was still crazy the whole time she was in the house. They're anti. I think they're antipsychotics or like they're designed. Obviously, drugs to help keep her grounded, but they're. But it's like, man, you need to like increase the dose. I think she there. wasn't grounded at all. No, it's like. It's like you took the pill and it pill and the pill basically just spat in your face or the or the schizophrenia whatever it was yeah god almighty mm -hmm. the movie's a mind fuck <laughs> it really is <laughs> i really love korean movies they like how brilliant they are mm -hmm. at writing out a story and and putting the visual in front of you is great and even from the start i had so many possibilities going through my head I don't think the actual conclusion is one that I had considered that there was actually two things going on here. Two things, no. All I thought was, you know, we're, we're just having some schizophrenia here. Right. That was the only thing that I thought. I didn't know. And then it's like later on, it's like, oh, wait, she's hearing things. That's right. There's a ghost going running around this house. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty early on. I, I thought maybe Suyan wasn't real because she wasn't very talkative at all throughout the whole movie. She wasn't very emotive or anything. But then as the story went on, it seemed like we were seeing more and more of her experiences in the house. I was like, oh, I guess she is real. Mm -hmm. And then, nope, she's not. See, that thought never crossed my mind. I thought they were both real and they were both going to turn out to be like serial killers and murder their family <laughs> there. So that's literally where I thought this was going to go. 
Mm-hmm. And I, <laughs> I was way wrong with that beginning thought. <laughs> Do you know any other good, like, Korean horror psychological thriller type of movies? I haven't really seen a whole lot. I'm gonna say this is one of them. Um, yeah, I really haven't seen that much, honestly. I'm kind of curious now. Mm-hmm. I want to watch more. Because the only two we've seen, Daniel, were this and I Saw the Devil, mm-hmm. I think. And both were brilliant movies. Yeah, I mean, this one was certainly a lot more open to what's going on here. I Saw the Devil, you know exactly what's going on. It's just they were portrayed really well. No, yeah, this one was left up to interpretation. So. Yeah. Fam, if there's any gaps out there, please help us fill them there. Uh, we've certainly tried to do our best here. I think we've got some good interpretations. But if you know what the pills are, let us know, uh, or at least confirm what we think they are. That would be much appreciated. But as always, uh, if you're brand new to this channel, we hope you'll consider subscribing and help us grow. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and hit the bells to receive uh, notifications every time we drop a new one. And uh, we've also, also, if you feel like supporting this channel even further, please, as we said, hit that join button, guys. Uh, it's not required, but we would certainly love to have you. While you're at it, take a look at us on our socials. We're on Instagram and TikTok. See what we're up to over there, guys. But as always, this is Cocktail Flicks. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And I'm Fifi. Yes, you are. <laughs> and we'll catch you on the flip side, fam. Cheers to you, fam. Cheers to you, Dan and Fifi. Cheers to Cheers. you. Cheers. Oh, my mug. <laughs> Coffee table. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>